Hello everyone, my name is Johannes Schaaf. In this video I'm going to talk about how to do basic patent analytics with the SPASnet by using its filter module. Let us start with a search in a SPASnet in the field of offshore wind energy. I have entered here a basic search for this field with classification codes and keywords. In this query I'm searching inventions that received by our examiners the classification code F03D13-25 for offshore wind energy or the more general classification of F03D for wind energy combined with two spelling variants of the keyword offshore. The low operator ensures that all subclasses are comprised in this query. We receive currently over 12,000 patent families. Reading all these results is not possible, but statistical analysis of the results will help us to get an insight into these potentially interesting inventions. But before doing that, we always should have a first look into our result lists to analyze the quality of our searches. You can customize what is shown in the result list, for example, by selecting the bibliographic data together with thumbnails. You can also change the sorting. The default sorting is according to relevance, which means that the most relevant documents come first. And at first glance, your search query may look pretty precise. In case you are not sure about the quality of the search, it is a good idea to sort according to the publication or priority date. This will show earlier in the list less relevant documents. By refining your search, you can improve the search statement to retrieve only the documents you are interested in. With low quality searches, you may generate GIGO, garbage in, garbage out. Search statement may require complex Boolean expressions with many keywords and classification codes in order to create meaningful statistics. Once you are happy with the results, you can open the filter module to retrieve a statistical analysis of the result set. From a patent intelligent perspective, the most relevant statistics are on markets for which protection is sought, which you can see by opening publication countries, the temporal development, see publication or priority date, and the most important actors, which are applicants or inventors. Policymakers are also often interested in applicant and inventor countries to better understand where inventions originate from. You can open the filters one by one. By selecting countries and applying the filter, you can limit the result set to these specific authorities for more detailed analysis. The filter is also shown on top of the interface once the filter is applied. In case you want to identify patterns which are potentially more important, you may be interested in patterns that have been applied in many countries. For this purpose, you just apply the country filter on a family basis, see the toggle on the left, and select one country and apply the filter, and repeat these two steps with all the countries the patent family should cover. In the header of the search, the filter tokens of the selected countries are connected with an AND operator. You can see that the result set gets considerably smaller this way. In case you are not active internationally, you may want to limit the search to your specific country. In this case, please bear in mind that from international systems like the EP and PCT, patent applications might still enter into national or regional phase to your respective country. To identify patents that have not been filed in certain authorities, you can also exclude those on a family level. Also here, the international rules may lead to additional patents appearing at a later stage, which you may want to exclude from the start to be on the safe side. You can analyze the most important actors by opening the applicant filter. 
Please be aware that name harmonization is limited in this analysis, which means that different name variants of the same company may be listed separately. This has to be checked. By applying the filter, you can analyze the patterns of specific market participants in more detail. After filtering with a specific applicant, you can also open, for example, the filter CPC Main Groups to generate a technological profile of the company and understand the focus of their innovation and patenting activities. It may be insightful to compare this between the various competitors. Similarly, also opening the publication countries may provide insight into different filing behavior. In such way, you may spot differences where your competitors see existing or upcoming markets. After filtering for the applicant Dalian University of Technology, you can reopen the applicant filter again, and sometimes, as in this case, other companies are still shown. They are co-applicants of inventions from Dalian University of Technology, so in this way, applicant networks of joint collaborations can be explored. For headhunting purposes, it may also be interesting to identify top inventors. Analyzing the applicant's country shows in which countries the applicants are registered. This information may give some indication on innovation strengths in these countries and help to monitor the effectiveness of policies supporting certain technologies. Please be aware that for some countries like China, the coverage of this data field may be limited for national filings. Analyzing the inventor's countries may show even better where inventions originate from. Instead of opening the filters one by one, you can also get a statistical overview by clicking on this icon. Also, this view is fully interactive for further filtering of your result set. By clicking on the three-dot menu, you can download all filter data into an Excel sheet for further analysis and visualization. The downloaded file shows the query and applied filters in one sheet and all the filter results in the following sheets. In summary, as mentioned before, the quality of the search statement is paramount for creating meaningful statistics. The statistics function can also be very helpful to refine your search. You can, for example, analyze the most important classification codes that you want to use or others that you want to exclude. I hope that the information provided in this Patent Knowledge Nugget video will help you to produce basic patent analytics. Please bear in mind the limits of Aspastic, for example, on the name harmonization of applicants. Thank you for watching and have a great day.